Tifu, the internet sensation of 2017 through 2018 and an all-around skilled gamer. Most people know him for his early success in Fortnite or the hilarious content he makes to this day. Whatever it may be, Tifu's story is truly incredible and we will go through it all in today's video. Tifu started how most content creators did. At around the age of 17, Tifu was uploading Call of Duty Modern Warfare videos to YouTube, and even then you could see his pristine aim starting to develop. The Call of Duty era of Tifu's channel would stretch on for a while, but one game switched it all up. Similar to Ninja, Tifu hopped on the new H1Z1 Battle Royale game and gained several followers by doing so. Because Tifu and Ninja were two of the most skilled people in this game, the rivalry that we know today started to grow its roots here. After PUBG release, things started to slow down for Tifu as many players from H1Z1 moved over to the new game. However, he still saw some increase on Twitch followers. He had now established a name and personality for himself, so when you saw Tifu's stream, you knew exactly what you were getting. A straightforward, relatable content creator. This made his streams intriguing to a viewer. All he needed was one little push, one little nudge in the right direction. Instead, he got shoved in the right direction by Fortnite itself. In 2017, Fortnite was released, and while many other streamers had gotten a taste already, Tifu brought something completely different to the game. At the time, there were three very well-known people with outstanding skill. Ninja, Tifu, and Myth. Ninja brought his game sense, while Myth showed his builds, and of course, Tifu with his aim. Because each one brought so much skill to Fortnite, it was now down to who had the most enjoyable personality to the most amount of viewers. By 2020, Ninja was was constantly complaining about the game until he left Fortnite for the next year and a half. Myth eventually seemed to trail off and play Valorant as the competitive grab grew, but Tifu, on the other hand, he adapted. Of course he also left the game, but despite this, his attitude was so funny to a new viewer. He could be silent for 30 minutes and then get your attention very easily again. I do respect Ninja and Myth, as well as all other social media creators. I'm only saying that Tifu had a certain trait that in my opinion, many others did not. If you liked random crazy shenanigans, you would like Ninja. And if you liked overall game skill and very thought out discussions, then Myth was the one. But if you just wanted a normal chill friendly guy, then you would probably like Tifu. Of course, Tifu's run with Fortnite did not last too long. Tifu's account ended up being banned by Epic Games as he bought it against Epic Games policies. This led Tifu to his new default trend, which in my opinion is another example of him and his pristine ability to adapt. Within a couple of months into Tifu's career, FaZe Banks reached out, and of course, Tifu took the opportunity. However, within a year, Tifu took a turn that nobody was expecting. The now FaZe Tifu ended up suing FaZe for not giving him a fair amount of money per competitive win, as well as some other claims on the side which he later let go. Both sides ended up coming to an agreement for a certain amount of money that is undisclosed, but to this day it is unknown if Tifu has made up with any of the members of FaZe. But regardless, the no longer FaZe Tifu went on. Because of the long court case, Tifu got a lot of attention on the media. And whether you were on FaZe Bank's side or Tifu's side, the attention boosted Tifu in the right direction. After this, Tifu went on to win tournaments, fight Ninja in game, and eventually leave Fortnite for good. Well, that's what we thought. Tifu's audience shrank a bit from the shift, however, Tifu simply enjoyed playing some other games. For instance, Apex Legends, Call of Duty, and many others. It took about a year, but the new Tifu arrived back at Fortnite, focusing more on the no build mode. And since Tifu started with his aim as his strongest factor, it suited him very well. Since then, Tifu has been doing great content-wise and gaming-wise and has cemented his legacy as THE Tifu. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and hit that bell, and possibly let me know in the comments who do you want to hear about next. Also, you can click one of these videos where I talk about either Ninja, Miskiff, or even Stampy.